I'm about to graduate from my 19th year of school. And I'm reading a book about being more compassionate with myself. This semester has been a lot. I've gone through a breakup and our whole world is going through the COVID-19 epidemic. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm feeling grateful. I'm feeling better than I did at the beginning of the semester. So, is every dog a reflection of their owner? I think 101 Dalmatians had it right. My dog Penny Pasta Nickel always looks beautiful. It's like her eyeliner was just put on and she's ready for her close-up. But the thing with Penny is, she might not be ready. She's a timid little thing. She gallivants up to people but scuttles away. A tease. Like she wants to be friends and is too anxious in the end. Do you walk your dog? Or does your dog walk you? The time Penny is on her leash is the time Penny is out in the world. I try to think about that and let her linger and smell the smells she's excited about. Lately, Penny has been depressed. Her routine has changed and her life is different with one less person in the house. One less person to oodle her with love. One less person to take long couch naps with her. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made us alone. But you are my dog, and I will walk you. I will run you. I will feed you. I will hold you. I will swim. I will take you on adventures. I will play with you. You are my pup, and I love you. In March, the whole spread of COVID started. I mean, everybody's primarily wanting what they can't have. Clorox wipes and Purell. I don't think that we knew how bad it was going to be, though. It was a slow trickle. A creeping in of COVID-19. Stores begin to close and washing your hands became very important. I had to say goodbye to my work office, but was lucky enough to be able to work from home, where I could also focus on myself and my thoughts. I became numb. My friend Emily recorded me and showed me giving a tour of my house, but all I could think about was Tom. All I could think about was being sad. I had my dog. I had Penny. I 
can't wait till someone asks me how I am. And I can say, I'm doing good. And I actually mean it. So what is the issue? Please don't take my sunshine away. Be sad and breathe in the dark light and breathe out the white light. I can't do it, but it's a thing, I guess. I'll always love you. Getting through it. What does that even mean? There's this joke. It goes something like, a person sits down next to another one and says, Gosh, life is so hard. And the other person looks at them and says, Compared to what? I'm trying to focus on the things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for where I live. I'm grateful for my dog. I went through a hard time, but I cannot wallow in self-pity. And the thing is, the whole world is going through a hard time. COVID-19 is making everybody feel as if they're in a breakup. Or at least, that's how I'm choosing to look at it. I had to do it. Everything circles back around. The only way out is through, and only time can tell what's next for us. Without your love, it's the matter they played in a penny a key. It's the permanent belly. 